This is the only purple coin star that still gives me trouble today. You can only take one hit. Hey chaps, Spin Inkling here. It's been over 10 years since I first played Super Mario Galaxy and a lot of memories made. The awesome galaxies, the phenomenal soundtrack, oh, and some of the stars massacring my 1-up counter. This list is based on how hard it is to complete the task needed to collect the star. So with that said... At some point, a lot of you are probably told by your parents that you should never mess around in the kitchen, right? Yeah, the Bull Blast Galaxy lives to be just that. You need to move around the galaxy using the motion controls to steer the bubble. The problem is that if you take a hit, the bubble pops. Which wouldn't be a problem if there wasn't instant kill poison everywhere that will slowly and painfully kill Mario. In the first section, you need to collect 5 shards to create a launch star, whilst fans will try and blow you into the bombs. But the real challenge comes in the second section, where you'll need to carefully steer your way through gates, dodging more bombs, and trying to avoid being squished. The main challenge here is that you need to get used to this new gimmick very quickly, because it only takes one slip up to fall into the poison. Also, for the record, I am aware of the glitch shortcut, but let's be real, only cheese use them. Outside of the fountain, there's a hungry loomer that you need to feed 400 star bits to. So after you feed him so much that he gets so far that he ends up blowing up, you get to go to the sling pod galaxy. Honestly, I think this galaxy comes way too early. Most of the stages you sling from pod to pod with the motion controls and timing your slides so you don't hit an obstacle, which is pretty much a guaranteed instant kill as there's a giant black hole under you. Now, dodging the obstacles isn't actually the hard part, it's getting the angle right on the pod, because they don't have the biggest hitbox ever. Thankfully, the stage is pretty generous with checkpoints, this pool star section is really easy, and it's a fairly short stage, so it shouldn't take you too long to beat it. But the fact that only one slip up can kill you and that it only takes one missing for that to happen, yeah, have fun with that. A lot of the comet stars seem to usually rank high on these kinds of lists, but really the only ones to pose that much of a threat are the daredevils and the purple coin. And this isn't the only purple coin star on here. This purple coin mission is extremely similar to the one in Battle Rock Galaxy. In fact, this whole galaxy was essentially Battle Rock too. This stage is always moving on a tiny platform, and you will be constantly bombarded with cannons and electric fences. But the game won't care if you miss one, and if you do, you might as well kill yourself, as you can't go back and get it, and if you get to the f***er at the end of about 100 coins, he kills you. As such, you can't make a single mistake, especially at this one, because if you don't get on top of it on the first attempt, that's likely it. Getting used to a sun changing controls isn't that much of an issue, since most of the coins on the moving platforms are in a single plane, but just getting hit by one cannonball, and there's a lot of them, can easily throw you off. Have fun with that. A lot of people seem to think Toy Time Galaxy has the hardest purple coins, but honestly, this is the only purple coin star that still gives me trouble today. This galaxy probably has the widest area of that to collect of the purple coins, with both the normal area and secret area containing them. In fact, it was only because of this comment that I even found out about this area. But yeah, good luck trying to remember where you've been. All I can say is explore as much as you can and hope to god you don't miss one or don't die like I nearly did twice at the top. And if you find out that you only have one coin left after you reach the top of the mountain like I did here, I hope to find it cheering out near the starting area. During this recording, I spent like 6 minutes trying to find this last purple coin, and it's not the only coin that's done that to me in the past. This is definitely the most exhausting start to get in the game. Never thought to see a day where rabbits don't make everything better. You have two and a half minutes to chase down the three bunnies, and they are in the most random spots. There's one in this hole, one in a random snowman, which requires you to find all of the switches on the plants to collect the fire flower, and one which also requires the fire flower to destroy a random snow statue to reveal a shell that you can aim at a treasure chest. Actually, catching them isn't that hard, as you can chase them into the holes at the sides of the planet where they have no way of escaping you. It's trying to find them and getting them into the holes is the hard part, because it takes time, which you don't have a lot of. You'll need some serious muscle memory if you want to get this star. Oh hey, it's the place where all my videos belong. 
The star may never actually kill you, but it often takes many tries for me to beat this. You only have 30 seconds to blow up all of the trash with the bombs, and those bombs take about 9 seconds to explode once picked, so in reality, you actually only have just over 20 seconds, and you need to throw 6 bombs. Thankfully, the coin spots indicate where you need to throw them, and there is some lenient, but just one missed throw is practically a loss, since a bomb doesn't respawn until it's like my hopes and dreams. Even on my successful run here, I only had a second left. The thing that annoys me the most is, why are we only given 30 seconds, and why does the trash always come back? How's that work? As I said earlier, one of the comments that could pose a threat in the game was the Daredevil comment, because it basically meant you couldn't f*** up. Most of the time, they just had you find the boss in that galaxy, with the one giving him the most pain being Camilla. Sure, the first half is easy, because of the wide area of the ship, and the fireballs are easy to dodge, but it's when she goes to the top of the ship and summons a few Kameks, that the difficulty heavily increases. Like seriously, there's more fire here than California's forest, and there isn't exactly a lot of space here. At best, you'll probably have plenty of close calls. You can thankfully take out the Kameks, but that can leave you vulnerable to another fireball. And like I already said, you can only take one hit. But if you think this Daredevil comet is hard, number 3 saying hold my beer. Oh, you knew this one was coming. Trying to defeat a boss without a hit is nothing compared to trying to defeat an entire level without a hit. You start off with a section platforming over lava, then you need to avoid some seam jets, followed by using pull stars to avoid the lava shards, before there's a section where you need to collect 5 shards and evade the fire enemies and more steam jets, ending with a climb up a mountain against the rising lava, where everything here seems to want to send Mario to the underwear. A lot of these sections were tricky enough on their own not to take a hit, especially that last segment, but doing them all without taking a hit, in one go because there are no checkpoints, is easily worthy of being the hardest current star in the game. Probably the closest this game has to a perfect run, oh hang on, save that for next week. It's about time a trial galaxy showed up. These are all harder versions of motion control gimmicky stars from earlier on in the game, and this level probably massacred more one offs than the first half of this list put together. Multiple narrow stretches, bombs to blow you up, dice blocks to push you everywhere, and no checkpoints. This one requires a lot of precision with your motion controls. If it was with an unshock, this level may be a little bit lower, but this was the early Wii days, so I guess not. It may be a short level, but that barely means anything when one small slip up is likely going to send you off the course. However, it's not the hardest of the trial galaxies. But before I reveal that, here are some stars that also hurt my 1-up counter, but didn't quite get on the list. Major Burrow's Daredevil Run. That last hit can be a pain to get with only one hit. Boulder Giant's Daredevil Run. Trying to get the bomb boost into the boss can be a pain, especially when he has his hands. Oh yeah, and you die in one hit. Purple Coins on the Battle Rock. Switching sides in one cannonball can easily throw you off, and if you miss just one, you're dead. Purple Coins in the Bone Pen. I guess this guy didn't think one hard prankster comment was enough. You only get one minute. Purple Coins in the Woods. Easy to slip off these tiny platforms, which is pretty much a death sentence with that time limit. And finally, Luigi's Purple Coins. I don't think it's as hard as people make it out, but the fact that platforms can just vanish means you'll have to practice efficient routes. This was the easiest spot to decide on the list. I don't know how many people are going to agree with me on this, but this one absolutely destroys me. This star is similar to the number 10 spot, except for one thing. Everything in this galaxy wants you dead. It's split into two sections. The first section has you going through five mini sections, collecting a shard each time, and dodging various spikes, fires, and those goddamn electric fences. However, like I said earlier, if you get here, you lose the bubble, which isn't ideal over the emptiness of space. Oh, and there's no checkpoints in this section either. Thankfully, you do get a checkpoint at the beginning of this second section, but that's where the real fun comes in. Have fun being chased by bullet bills around tight corners and obstacles blocking you. This section requires mass precision with the motion controls, whilst also avoiding the bombs and electric fences. Honestly, this section alone could justify the top spot. It's not one you're going to get through on your first try. This star may not be a daredevil comet, but it might as well be. And when everything again wants to kill you, I find it hard not to put this star in any other spot. This has been Spit Inkling, and tune in next week for the hardest galaxy 2 stars. God damn it!